Welcome to the Sway Corner. For those joining us for the very first time, welcome y'all, welcome. <laughs> I have my sisters with me again. For the Sway Fam subscribers, hey y'all, how's the Sway Fam? If you have been here a couple of times, have not subscribed, please subscribe now, like, and leave your comment below, and share, of course, and share the video with your friends. Okay, so we're doing something, I think many times my sisters around, there's always something exciting, people enjoy that, you guys enjoy it. So enjoy it while we can still create this content for you. <laughs> we have amazing looks that I created today, and we are testing. We have tested. Well, I tested. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. All of that. Testing and have tested. Yeah. yeah. The Revlon Prime Plus primers. Everybody for their skin type. Oily skin. Combination skin. More to the dry side, and then dry. With all our skin issues. Revlon came up with these primers I think a month or so ago and they have different primers. I'm going to ask each person to read their primer and then we're gonna then um, talk about what everybody does. And if you have here for the first time, this is my sister Blue, this is my sister Nanda and Amor Nunda by the way, just in case you're like, what are their names? Like our names. So you say what primer you I used on your face. Alright, so this is the Revlon Prime Plus the mattifying and pore reducing primer so the one with the blue cap so it says oh so it also says photo ready mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's also it's great um, so, so this one is mm -hmm. uh, complex infused with artichoke extract salicylic acid as well as AHA um, yeah that's what it is yours Mine is perfecting and smoothing infused with um, some vitamin B5 and woo, hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid. That's mm. it. And mine is the brightening plus even skin tone. Um, and it is a complex infused with lemon extract and vitamin E and C. Um, all these primers say that that they are multi-benefit this one is a multi-benefit primer plus skincare formula um, instantly brightens skin before foundation application improves appearance of skin over time and um, I must say it lives up to its name for me and then, oh they've got numbers I just noticed so yours is a oh mine is 001 yeah yours is 002 and mine yeah, is a 003 so I think it sort of ranges uh, like that. Yeah. For your oh, normal ish to meh. I think so. Yeah. That's basically what that is. We're gonna do quick reviews. What did you think? Which one did you use? Uh, how did you like it? And how long did it, how did it make your makeup stay on your face? Miss Orlunda over here was my makeup artist for the day. So I've been wearing this look for a good twelve hours plus. If I'm not mistaken, because we put it on at around two, 9 and it's now past almost 10 pm. Yeah. So I've been wearing this look for 12 hours, a good 12 hours. So as you can see. And you didn't blot one? Yes, I did not. I did not have, I did not powder my face at all because I wanted to see how the effect would be at the end of the day because I have a problem of being completely shiny throughout. So currently you can see it looks very glistening, actually, you know, honestly. Uh, whereas normally I would be super shiny, like I'd feel like I need to have a tissue and dab for like three, four times per day. So I am very, very impressed first of all with the whole makeup look. It looks fantastic. Uh, imagine on an ordinary day looking so fabulous. <laughs> it's so sad. But anyway, but the primer did fantastic because my face does not feel dry it doesn't feel oily either um, and this this the, the glaze the glistening actually that you can see I think is not actually oiliness it's more because it's so hot where we are currently and I sweat so easily so it's that the heat that interaction of the heat in my skin that's what's bringing it out whereas normally I would be sweating 
and glowing, like properly glowing or from oil mm. and stuff. So I'm very, very impressed with this primer. And I will definitely be using it on a normal day for me. We're usually obviously not looking this fabulous, but at least uh, putting a foundation on my skin and using a pressed powder to just usually keep hopefully the skin dry and matte-ish. So I'm very, very impressed with it. And personally, I would never have thought of it uh, of having to prime for myself like this at all. I don't even know um, yeah, which one I would have gone for, but this is actually a very good good option for somebody who's got an oily skin like myself. And something that my sister over here noticed is the fact that I didn't realize that my whole face was not necessarily oily. She noticed when she was putting on the makeup that I have basically most of the surrounding area of my face is very oily. But when it comes to more central under the eye there above the cheekbone, is very very dry and but somehow even with this primer I didn't feel that it was ultra dry uh, in that area that is actually pretty dry at all um, so that was very cool because I feel like everything just evened out I can really touch on my face and I just it just feel the same just great for somebody like me so I'm definitely gonna use it a lot more uh, obviously I, I want to preserve it as well but but I'm definitely going to use this primer and then um, give more feedback on how it is on a normal day and with my minimal makeup usually that I use. So maybe this maybe it will listen even less. I have no idea. True. That's pretty true. Mm -hmm. Because today she had a full day uh, out of the house that for full day in the car and it's very, very, like she said, very hot. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, we all know like Africa, like hot, it's hot. So I'm actually very happy with the way that it kept up on her face. She literally, honestly, she didn't dab, and I was very impressed that she did not. Even when she, the sweat came in, it just gave the face a bit of a glow, and not like the makeup is running off of her skin. Yes, that's actually true. When I, even when I was almost, I thought that I was going to start pouring, which I normally do. Mm -hmm. I thought like, oh my gosh, I will have to wipe off the makeup now, and all I had to do was basically just. Uh, 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 fed myself a little bit and then it's like dry up which is seriously an amazing thing for me like a, it's a huge revelation I don't know I don't I don't think I would ever have discovered that myself um, so <laughs> I'm proud of myself like, yeah. you should be proud of yourself like you're growing really well hallelujah yeah and just yeah. once again to to admire my look even with the glistening mm -hmm. I'm really impressed with it. And even my not hair done thing actually worked well. I'm, I'm wow. Mind you, we did not use matte foundation for her. We used her actual foundation for her skin. Yeah. So, and she doesn't buy matte foundation. She just buys foundation. The foundation that she has is a normal to, actually it's just a normal foundation. It doesn't have like, it doesn't have a matte finish. It is like, um, just a set, normal yeah, set. It's just like a, it's like a generic every, Yeah, everyday wig your skin type type of foundation that we yeah. used under this so this primer this matte primer that is is awesome like yay cool yeah. so thank you Ornella you did a great job thank you yeah Ornella and Revlon you also did a fantastic job for making something like this for people like me yeah so, very impressed cool as for me as you can see I used this one, I'm going to tell you something about this specific one. Today, as usual, first let me start off. First of all, let me start by telling you guys I've got this type of a combination skin, you know. But with this uh, new primer, I discovered something new. Imagine I was baking donuts in the kitchen today. <laughs> I was baking donuts. And ask me how many times did I go to the bathroom just to make sure that my makeup and everything is still on. I'm telling you this primer is doing a beautiful job. Make no mistake. I was in the kitchen today for like an hour just there baking donuts. But yeah, if you look at me, it's still nice and matte. I like this experience. Yeah, it's still nice and matte. I'm mm -hmm. not making this up, but I know this is something that worries me most of the time. If I'm in the kitchen and I'm 
wearing mm. makeup on, but yeah, today I had this wonderful experience. And unfortunately, I don't know, should I go to bed? Should I think real long? What should I do? But take the makeup off, must it yeah, stay on? Must it stay <laughs> on? But honestly speaking, it was a good experience with this primer. And I am super, super, super happy. And I would yeah, recommend it to any 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 female that would love to try out Revlon. If you haven't tried out Revlon primer, please, this is the time for you to go. And I'm not making this up. It's something beautiful. Yeah. And it the is. one Nanda used is the Perfecting at Plus Smoothing Primer. She has a little bit of uneven skin in her mm -hmm. on her face, and so that's all we wanted to take care of. Because she has a combination to dry skin, I didn't want to play around with mm -hmm. like something that would mattify her skin. So we just kept it natural as well. And it also comes with vitamin B5 and hyaluronic acid, so this was really good for her skin to hydrate her skin as well and everybody knows what hyaluronic acid is like really good for a person's skin don't ask me how to define these things for you it has really worked very well for her skin honestly she did like she said she did spend an hour baking donuts so i'm really proud of the way that this held up so you're very happy she didn't blot once either and it still looks really really good mm. so i'm also happy about that yeah and you've been she's been wearing this look for about six hours mm -hmm. mm. see the heat of the stove. Yeah. It looks very good. And, hot and, it still, and it still looks matte. You didn't even use any mm -hmm. matte stuff, but it looks matte. Like if I look at oh, no, there. I did. I used the NYX foundation. Matte foundation. That one was matte. Yes, ah. I used that. That looks nice. Mm -hmm. it looks good. C R for radiance. C R for Revlon. It's true name. Oh, yes. Revlon for radiance. Yeah. So, okay, cool. So, um, yeah, but this is my skin, guys. The thing is, though, tell us, girl. Tell I don't us. know. <laughs> did, I, did I also use? I don't, I don't remember which foundation I used now. The foundation that I used is the Revlon foundation. Very normal to matte foundation as well for 12 hour wear, but it doesn't dry cakey. But I have dry skin, and how my makeup it just looks like glowing in a bit right but i'm not a sweaty person mm -hmm. i really am not i'm not one that makeup runs off that's how dry my skin is mm. so usually even in the heat i'll feel like i'm hot like here but you won't see the sweat run my face you also won't see a lot of like uh the glow coming through like oily skin will experience mm -hmm. when you're like this is oily glistening and i have to blot i honestly hardly ever blot my face whether it's summer or winter winter right. it's like it sits it will sit for a good 12 hours without me having to blot it all summer i'll probably blot it like the ninth or 10th hour only mm -hmm. if i need to but it will just be here just my nose area just here nowhere else everything everywhere else it will sit mm -hmm. so for me it actually yeah I, I need to i like the 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 primer because it wasn't drying because most of my uh primers are very drying the ones that I buy, even though I have dry skin, I know it's very bad. But um, this one is very cool. I like the way that it sits. I like its finish, so it doesn't dry it out at all. It just gives you a nice glow. Also, one of those that I can wear at home after washing my face, putting some my lotions on, and then put that on for a known foundation day. This would be a perfect one for those those type of days because it just gives you brightens up your skin. It doesn't necessarily for like yeah. It's not necessarily just making sure. <laughs> it's not necessarily for like makeup wear, but it is a good one for those who feel like their face is a little bit dull and you just want to brighten it up before your makeup. Or you can wear it as a no makeup makeup kind of day. So yeah, Revlon really covered all of us with our skins and our skin um, issues, you know. And they really made an effort to really think about us because you some struggles are real. Yeah, but thank you, Revlon. This was really cool. Hmm. So, how pricey are these primers? I I'm sure a lot of people will want to know that mm -hmm. because uh, I'm speaking for myself mm -hmm. because I am you very go, picky as to how much money I want to spend on skin products. So, and I know that this one has done very well with my skin tone and so on, but I also just want to know how expensive is this? <laughs> is this? Technically, 
partly tea with us to a coin. I put it there. Partly tea will not be cheap. But for Revlon's sake, for this product that you're going to buy, <clears throat> it's 240 74. 274, but this is in Namibia. So in SA, it should cost you something like 250 bucks. Clicks, Foshini, Edgar's, no, no more Edgar's, this scam should cost you about 250 around there, or slightly even less. Uh, just check your local shops. But in Namibia, it costs you 274 bucks. Might cost you even a little bit more if you go to like Clicks versus buying it in Foshini, or a little bit less. Because you bought it in clicks versus machine like that. Because the markups are not the same. We all know how that works. So, but that was the price that I got this for. But I think it's for what you're paying, this lasts you a good six months. So technically, you have to divide this divided by six months. If you and if it if it does its job right, it's worth you buying it because you're buying it only every six months. I don't even I that use a lot of primer. Most of these primers I will use. Mm -hmm. But yeah, for a good six months before I buy a new one. I just buy a new ones now because I want to try them different products for different people. But for someone like Oli is my sister here. I have a video about primers and how you need to use primers, material primers and stuff. But the best one you can also buy, if you're not going to buy this, um, is the Yardley one. It's much cheaper. Mm -hmm. Not Yardley, um, Maybelline. Evelyn is one. It's a good starter one. It costs about ninety-nine to bucks oh, okay. to a hundred dollars. Eighty-nine to a hundred bucks. Oh, okay. um, they, in SA, it will cost you that. Here, it costs us one hundred and eight to one hundred and twenty max. That one. Uh, but yeah. So the thing is, honestly, buying, especially makeup products, if you're gonna buy it from like buying cheap, is not always the thing to go because it, they just make a product so that they also have a primer. They can say they have a primer, but the primer does not. Uh, do its job most of them they're not like I've compared few high ends to like low end so then for uh, people who are like us who are now not into this thing to session we don't really know much about this what is the average price of a primer that we should sort of expect and accept for us like going out there okay fine so now I know about the Revlon Prime Plus, and I know that if I'm going to buy a primer, I must look for something with similar uh, qualities and things. Um, and then, um, obviously now, but I'm not quite sure how much I should sort of, you know, budget plan to, to, to pay. So if I want something with sort of good quality, but okay, but what is the, basically just what is what is the price I should sort of put aside or have in my, in my head to, to to spend on something like this, 150. It, it average is about a, average would be 150. Okay. Because buying primers is buy is like buying any other brand. Okay. We have to remember that it, depending on the type of brand that you're going to buy, you're gonna you, they're gonna anyway charge you more. It's like buying a Levi jeans mm -hmm. versus you buying a normal jean in like Master Price, for example. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what you have to think of. Okay. And um and some of them actually. Ah, like Levi's are associated with very good quality jeans. You know, you can wait for years before it tears and you have to buy a new one. Mm -hmm. Same thing, you must think about this. There are just some brands that I think, especially for girls of color, that are really like really putting in the work and giving us good quality. Revlon for me is one of those now. Mm -hmm. Maybelline is one of those drugstore mm -hmm. products. You will get Wet and Wild as well for. Oh, girls, yeah, yeah. but even Wet n Wild is a hundred and nine their um, primer. Okay. So you see what I mean. So you go between uh, Maybelline, so one o eight, the Pore Lace primer. It, I'll put it here, and then the what was it now? The Wet n Wild, which is also hundred and nine. In comparison, Wet n Wild is actually cheaper than Maybell than the Maybelline one, okay. but. And the thingy key I also put here, then you can also buy either one of those for only girls. Those are your two matte foundations that I mean matte primers that you can buy for yourself. Okay. So budget 150 max because of the prices that are constantly fluctuating. And then if you get it cheaper, you scored. What? If you get it cheaper, then in your mind you scored because you 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 oh. think it you budgeted 150. I swear I'm just that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's very good okay. question. People okay. are asking that. So that's very good questions from. But then you've covered most of this in your primer video basically as to which ones that you prefer and which ones so on and so forth. Yes. Cool. So that's a link yeah. into to that video. You'll give us a link. 
another question. I'm sorry, I feel like an interviewer right now, but I need to know these things. So, so now, say I have used like me, né? my skin is oily, mostly oily, né? and I use say a matte primer. Do you recommend that I also use like a matte foundation? Ideally now, not not obviously you, you use what you have, you know, so if I have this and like whichever, I have that generic foundation, I use that and it works, it's fine. But ideally, what would you recommend? Would you think using a matte primer, uh, you should also use like a matte foundation to get a more matte look or it doesn't work like that? Okay. Yes and no. In the sense that, if you're going to have a very long day mm. and you have like you have 12 hour long work days mm. and you want your foundation to stay put mm. then i would suggest you do matte and matte okay. very little lifting mm. and at least by the eighth hour that's when you see oh oh my gosh okay i'm starting to blow up but at mm. least you know you're almost done with your shift in a sense mm. but and if you're going to have like longer days where you do like eight to five you want to go to a function afterwards mm. yes matte on matte because for oily girls, by the time you have to go to the event, you start glowing, but yeah. not look like going off. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. For a normal day, eight hour, you're just at the office, you don't really sweat a lot, you don't, but you're still oily. You, you can combine oily um, matte primer with a normal um, foundation. Mm-hmm. But don't buy, uh, a, you don't have to buy a matte matte, it can just be normal. Right, normal foundation, I mean, that, that's those dewy ones that you can because there's some people who have oily skin who still like a dewy look, mm. yeah. So, there's with some people like me, I have, I'm, I'm literally dry, but I love a matte look. Like, for me, an oily look does not, I don't feel like it looks good. That's why I, I do very good, I, I do a proper skincare before mm. to make my sure that my skin is always hydrated, even though I put on matte products. And then, after I remove it, I make sure I hydrate my skin as much as possible, mm. like that. So you have to try and balance it out so you don't starve your face, mm-hmm. I mean your skin, off of its oils or water and too oily. You must literally try and put the balance. Mm-hmm. So you can either, you, you can do whichever one. If you don't want to buy a different foundation, then yeah, I agree, just buy matte ones because we've proved, especially this Revlon one, that matte foundations do work with normal, with glowy um, foundations. Yeah. So you must be willing to blot after a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you, and thank you for allowing me yeah. for being an inter- to be an interviewer the first time I'm alive. So it was great. Thank you. Any last thoughts? She's just happy with her look. She's not I'm just happy. Yeah. yeah, I'm really, really happy with my looks. Because I know I'm normally someone that when I apply these kind of, um, you know, moisturizer and primers, you go like, oh, what will I look like after a few hours? Yeah, yeah. How it's going to be after a few hours, you know? Mm-hmm. And with this new primer, oh, Confidence just sucked in like mm. Yay! Okay, so we've given you our thoughts um, My sister here has asked questions for people who might have the same questions If you do have more questions like her, please leave them in the, in the comment section below I am more than willing to answer your questions I'm here so we can all learn about makeup And that you don't feel like you are alone when it comes to oh my gosh all these makeup things we are here to learn together so please do drop your all your questions and your comments and whatever about this have you tried the revlon primer do you like it do you think it's too expensive for you let me know whatever thoughts you have let us know and yeah that's basically that what did you like about your looks by the way before we we end this thing final thought okay mind just the small thing effect and the whole kind of a little bit mystifying uh, kind of look, yeah, basically that. And just the feeling of uh, my skin after applying primer, it just feels so good, so smooth. There's no roughness going on with all the foundation and everything that went into this place of mine. There's no such a feeling of like, you know, I tried like doing this like so the whole day like. Trying to blend with myself, but it's really smooth. If you okay. think I'm not telling the truth, please try it. Drop your comments down below so we can share. It is smooth. I'm really my advertiser. Mm-hmm. I'm really feeling the smoothness. Honestly speaking, I don't know because I know I have been doing this the whole day, like mm-hmm. touching myself, doing this. I was, 
Oh, was it Ruth? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's good. So, um, I like the fact that my skin does not feel oily. Um, it really, really does not feel, it still feels pretty dry, uh, but like matte, actually. Not dry like, oh my gosh, I need water. Mm-hmm. But like, mm-hmm. it feels, just feels good. I like that. So I like the fact that that's, that's what I like about the primer part. And what I like about the, I just think it's a very good look. I've never been made up like this, you know, honestly, like a whole, my whole, my face being done completely. So she went all out, like the whole primer thing and the foundations, which I, I thought is like a million foundations <laughs> and million layers and stuff. She got eyeshadow and everything done and my eyebrows got dead. So I actually mm-hmm. like the look because I've always, always avoided it. Like I said, and I've repeated it so many times because my face is so heavy and I sweat so easily. I just always thought, oh gosh, I put makeup on and then like, I sweat and then I wipe and then I've got a whole patch of <laughs> makeup-less uh, section on my face, which I think would be embarrassing. So I never actually tried it. So I always did something very simple. My routine is literally uh, foundation and pressed powder. And then maybe do something about my eyes and put mascara on. That's literally my eye. That's, that's my face routine. I got no, because I, I thought, I've always thought, keep it simple for me because then I don't feel so bad when I sweat and I dab and wipe and whatever because you don't really notice it anyway. <laughs> but so, I like the fact that I actually got done today. Like, wow, okay? It looks nice. It's a really, really good look. Now, now but they're also making me feel jealous now. I should have gotten my lashes done too, you know? <laughs> I feel like but I'm your flesh is naturally yeah. anyway. No, but Long when I'm, when I'm sitting way. here looking at you guys, like your lashes are popping. Yes, like I feel like I also want it. But anyway, all I can say is I think my look looks so good because we went out today, right? And then we were obviously wearing masks everywhere. And I was like wearing a cap, guys. So I wasn't actually using utilizing this look. But people noticed. The amount of people who kept on turning around when I walked past. <laughs> I was like, okay. it's clearly this makeup. This makeup is the bomb. They're probably wondering, what the hell are you doing with a cap and fabulous makeup? Where are you going? <laughs> In a t shirt. Ah, no. Okay, anyway. um, I'm gonna have separate videos for all for their makeup looks as well as my makeup as well. And then. You guys can see exactly what I did to get her her look. She had a blue look like mine. Yeah. I used her, her lip glossy by the way, it's so cute. Uh, the blue, she had the same blue on her. And yeah, look, so separate videos will come soon for all those three looks. And for me, it, I loved the, the blue look. See, blue. but the thing is what she cheated guys, she cheated. Cause this lip, it's actually a matte lip lipstick lip oh. thingy whatever lip gloss on lip whatever um, and then she decided to glossify it i did so but either way it, looks, it still looks fabulous because a girl must just you know anyway <laughs> That's not point. okay so i really like this review i think you everybody must buy revlon if you have the budget to buy a revlon and like previous I think I said that if you don't have, you don't have to. But if you do want to spend money on, if you want to invest on a good primer, this is one of the good primers that you should invest in. Um, Revlon really took out their time for us, guys. They really did. So that's basically this is our this is our review. Um, thank you, girls. You're welcome. It made me look so good, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it out there. Like, anyway, okay. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll surprise you with what we have coming. Again, you are going to see them 